Welcome to the tutorial video for the Gemini card game. The Gemini card game is a cooperative game for two to four players who work together to complete scientific programs over the course of two week turns for a semester. The game has several different scenarios, but the basic game only has the one basic scenario. The basic scenario comes in a two to four player variant and a three player variant. So make sure you're using the correct side of the card. The Gemini card game is made up of a single deck, but with several sub deck components. The first one we'll talk about is the weather deck. The weather deck consists of a variety of different weather types from best, the ones you kind of hope for, but will have some constraint on the game. Great, believe it or not, is probably one of the best weather types. Good. Uh, you can do most of the things that you need to do. Poor, that's just the weather you need to deal with. And then there are two different special types of weathers included in this game. Either storm or earthquake, which affects the availability of one of the two telescopes, or shutdown, which is a semi-planned event that also comes in a north-south variant. The next type of deck we're going to talk about is called the instrument deck. The instrument deck comes with a variety of instruments that are actually instruments on the Gemini telescope. They come in spectroscopy, which you can tell by the icons, imaging, some can do either spectroscopy or imaging. They also have a designation for the site that they belong to, north, south, or a few that are north or south. Some are able to take the modification of an AO system. You can tell this by the yellow box around the bottom here. So Altair is an example of one where you can modify the GNIRS or NERI instrument to include AO. Another instrument, GPI, already comes with AO attached. The deck also comes with four different roll cards, but keep in mind that each of these roll cards is double-sided. There are four different roll cards, each with pictures of actual Gemini employees. Each of these is going to have a special power that is going to augment your gameplay during this. The last deck in the Gemini card game is the player deck. The player deck consists of several different types of cards, so I'll go over them quickly. The first one is called the program card. The program card comes in three different bands, band one, band two, and band three. These have a variety of designators on them, which you can tell by the icons, I'll go over them now. The first designator is whether the program takes AO. For example, this band two project will take an AO. This one will not. This one will take either in AO or not AO modes. The next icon designators are in the upper right corner, and these are the targets required in order to complete the program. This program, for example, requires two primary targets to complete the program. This one requires two of any type of target, while these two show examples of other types of secondary targets or bright targets. The next type of player deck card are targets. Targets come in primary, secondary, or bright. They also have a variety of icons which will help you designate how they are used. Primary targets use the same symbol as the programs used. Secondary targets have their icon as well as bright. Some of the cards have two sides. For example, this secondary has a non-AO and an AO side. The primary difference of these is the number of hours required to complete the target. The more interesting of these targets are bright targets, where in non-AO mode, they're just bright targets. But if you flip them over to AO mode, they become a primary target. Because they are bright, they can be observed in poorer weather. Notice that there's an increase in the number of hours when one of these bright targets is used as a bright primary. 
The last type of player deck card are time cards. These are the cards that we play on targets in order to complete them. They come in one hour, two hour, three hour, and five hour denominations. There are icons here to show the number of time. Notice that the five hour card comes with a condition, whereas it needs to be used to help complete a program or risk reputation. To set up for the game, start by choosing a scenario card. With the basic game, there's only the basic scenario, which comes in a three player or a two or four player. Make sure you choose the correct side. Next, each player will choose a role. This can either be distributed randomly to each player or allow each player to choose. So next, shuffle the weather deck and place it face down next to the first player. Now place the checkouts card in the center of the table. Ensure that the checkout side is up and that it is accessible by all players. Next, shuffle the instrument deck and place it face down. Flip up the top two cards next to the instrument deck to designate the instruments that will be available for the first turn of the game. Next, shuffle the player deck. Deal five cards to each player. Put the remainder on the table as a draw deck. Last, look at the scenario card to ensure that any additional steps are completed. In this case, use a marker of some kind to designate four reputation points as the starting number of reputation points for the scenario. Or you can use a paper clip to designate the reputation. All these setup steps can be found in the rule book online or on a, a setup reference card available in the deck. At the start of each round, the first player draws a card off the top of the weather deck. Ooh, good weather. Nice start of the game. The first player is, is an instrument engineer. We can use their special power to move an instrument. You move an instrument by choosing one of the instruments available from the instrument lineup and moving it down on top of a program. You'll notice how the icons line up to ensure that you have an instrument that matches the program. In this case, non-AO, non-AO, imaging, this is capable of doing either. So that checks. Using the roll ability does not use an action. So they still have an action. They're gonna play a band two program out of their hand. The next player is the cue coordinator and they will use their action to move an instrument onto this new program. This does require an action because this is not their special ability. The next player decides to use their action by playing a target card. To play a target card, choose a target out of your hand. Ensure that the icons from the top of the target match the icons that are needed for the program. In this case, primary target will satisfy one of the two primary target requirements of this program, AO mode, AO mode. Once again, this indicates how many hours to complete viewing of this target. The next player sees a program all ready to go and wants to put time on it. But they realize at the beginning of the game, the checkout program is out here, which does not allow putting time on a program until checkouts are complete, which requires three hours. In their hand, they only have a one or a two hour checkout card. Their special ability allows them to play two time cards on a single target. So they'll play both of these together on the checkouts, completing the three hours. The last thing that any player does during their turn, if needed, is to do a cleanup on a program once it has all of its targets completed. To do this, discard all the time that's on there. The instrument assigned to this program may move to another program if there's one available without an instrument assigned. 
In this case, there is no, so they have to go to the bottom of the deck. Lastly, you would normally take the program card and put it into a pile for scoring later. In this particular case, the checkout card is a special card and flips over to become a special poor weather program for scoring. This would complete a round of play. During the first round, no one has needed to draw cards because they already have five cards. In future rounds, the first thing that each player will do is draw their hand up to five. This will be necessary for the further rounds. During the next round, once again, the first player needs to remember to draw a weather card from the weather deck. All these steps in a turn sequence are also designated on the turn sequence reference card available in the deck on the back side of the setup card. This completes the basic steps for this tutorial video. There are other complications of this game that are written as text on each of the cards, so be sure to read each card as you're playing them. For complete rules, they are available at www.gemini.edu/gcg for Gemini card game. Thank you for watching.